that I'm here to do today to do one thing really that's just to put this nuke here this one here I want to take it and put it into the new hive that I prepared for it the new hive is probably about twice the size of that one so that'll give much more room to expand um, sad news really is that the the, the swarm that I saved the other day and put into here seems to have gone off somewhere so I won't be housing that one at all which is a shame but there you go you know these things happen it wasn't a big swarm I suppose in the end but I don't know it went off for some reason so I'll have a look around see if I can see it anywhere but it's probably quite unlikely but you know never know right that's it so I'm gonna get started on transferring these bees over okay so I know the camera stopped working while I was doing that so doesn't matter too much. Okay, so what I've done is I've been put fresh comb there, that's partly drawn that one. That's all the brood. We've got loads of brood coming through on here. If you can see that, it's really quite, quite good. Brood on there. And some of the bees have got pollen on them as well. So that's good. I mean, certainly the nuke was just about ready to go anyway because it had to be expanded. It was so large. And look at this beautiful one here. Look, this is this is lovely. So I know it's a good queen. I don't know if you can see all these down here. So that's good. I think there's another one here which has got some brood on. Yeah, it's got little bits. Not, not a lot. But at least you've got the chance to expand. And I'm putting all of them together. Put a fresh foundation there. Now some people, they put drawn comb next to it, but I've, I'm using fresh foundation because it's kind of what Brother Adam said to do in his book, Beekeeping at Buckfast Abbey. So I'm just really copying what he, said you know um i haven't got a crown board i thought i had one but um doesn't matter i guess i've just got to make one and put it on so that's it so that's that all set in place um i do have to tidy up obviously there's a bit of a mess here um shame that the swarm didn't stay but that's where it goes you know sometimes it just goes I don't know. yeah so that's that really or oh, better put the roof on <coughs> Put the breather here so that we get access to the top. I might put it on two, on two breathing there. I don't want any wasps going in there. They can come through the front entrance like everybody else. Um, that's it. So I might just check the other ones, tidy them up. These bees here have to be transferred because there's loads left in here. Look at that. Um, yeah, I'll shake them into there. And that's it. So. New hive in place. Hope they like it. The other thing that Brother Adam said was that these type of bees, he developed these bees, the buckfast bees, they need plenty of room to to for the egg laying queen. So she's definitely got that. So I'm quite pleased. That's good. It's a good one. Okay, bye. Just a quick thing here. This is the the nuke box that I put in about two weeks ago. And on here, the white, you can see the queen, one with the white dot on, that's the queen. The reason why I put a white dot on her is that I can see her better, because I'm not great with, with colours on these ones, so it's just easier to see her. But she's massive, look at the size of her. The trouble is, she does... In that hive there, she was a bit angry. This one here, they seem alright. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a thing. But anyway, just thought I'd show you that, that just how much this has actually grown out in terms of the brood. You can see all the brood on there. I'm not gonna take them all out. Well, I will for myself, but not for the camera. Look at all the brood on there. So that's all worker there. And that is drone brood down the bottom, the big lumpy stuff. It's okay, but you know, 
really don't want workers at the moment, but there you go. So one last look at the queen. I mentioned the use of crown boards before and not having them. Raw beekeepers, I mean, this is really the reason why you do have to have crown boards, really. They're just going to build this up until it reaches the top of the roof, and we don't want that. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to leave it down. I'm going to leave it in here still so that they can still use the honey. But you can see they're all drawing it out there. Can you see them drawing out honey there? Actually, quite good. So they're definitely drawing honey out in this one. And this is the one that I requeened. So I'm quite pleased. Some of these frames are really old, but no, they'll probably still draw them out and use them. Whether I decide they can stay is another matter. I might replace them, I don't know. But certainly they're doing what they should be doing. And, um, yeah. That's why we use crown boards, and that's why I've got to really get a crown board to go on there so I'll be making one for this but I'm pleased with this it's a good hive it's a nice hive so just thought I'd share that bit that's what happens if you don't have a crown board okay so one last thing one last look around before I go happy with that one there all the ones with the upright bricks on are all queen right the one with the nuke on top is also queen right. Don't where the brick for that one is. And the next thing to do is to come up here with a cutter and cut away some of this grass. To try and clear the area a bit. It just grows up so fast. I guess because it's farmland, you know. But um, yeah. Happy with that. We got one, two, three, we got four supers on the way of honey. Maybe more. Maybe more. And that one's house, which is what I wanted to do. At least in that colour, you can see them against it. <laughs> so that's pretty good. They're all in the, a lot of them are at the bottom there, not sure where to go because that's where the entrance used to be. But the ones at the top here will be calling them in soon with their with their glands up. A lot of, see, some of them have got their glands up and they're, they're calling them in. So they will go in there, that's fine. And that's it for the April today.